Hey everybody, check it out. What's up? It's Heracles Porsche's professional intro. Yay! Hey, what's up everybody? It's Heracles Porsche here, and in today's video, I wanted to show you guys the new chip mechanic that's been introduced in the June update. This is of course not how your screen will look uh, when you first deploy into E Vanguard during June. Uh, I'm showing you guys a modified gun is the result of a few game play, some uh, extraction with the correct chips. Um, I'll just scroll over a handful of the chips just so you can kind of see what we're dealing with here. You can see there's all kinds of statistics you'd typically associate with uh, guns and games. The damage value, the stability, the hip fire, uh, the recoil. Uh, the most, there's a, the extra little unique bonus of the visor targeting and those things red. You're in ADS, etc. Also, there are two tiers. You're mostly just seeing uh, tier one chipsets, but I do have this one uh, power mod too. Um, you guys have also probably noticed there's various trade-offs that come with these chipsets. This is your default gun. This is what, what it'll look like if you uh, modify absolutely nothing at all. And this is a the heavily modified gun that I'm going to be taking into the next match when I am ready. But before I do that, I just want to make sure you guys have a firm understanding of how this works. Um, so you can see here, this does this is firing in burst mode as opposed to the standard automatic mode you would be used to from E Vanguard. And here we have the burst chipset. This is the only burst chipset I own right now, so very glad. Glad I've learned how to protect my chipsets more on that later. Uh, but just as another example, we've got a semi chipset. See, it's got an inherent uh, damage bonus to um, uh, kind of help counterbalance the fact that you can't spam bullets. To be perfectly blunt, um, I don't really like the burst and the semi modes for PvP. Uh, however, they are worth paying attention to right now uh, because there's a challenge going on. If you can get 25 kills in automatic, burst, and semi modes, 25 kills with each, you're going to be awarded a unique skin after this event uh, in EVE Online. So do pay attention to that if you are playing EVE Vanguard to earn unique skins. Some of them can be worth quite a lot of ISK. I believe there was a skin worth something like 1.6 billion in the last playtest. Uh, or in the last phase during the the last first strike event in May. Uh, so just something to think about if you're working towards that or you weren't aware of that. All right, I've wasted enough of your guys' time in menu screens. We're going to go ahead and deploy. All right, guys, so we're in the game here. And just to demonstrate how... Uh, oh, I think we actually... One thing I want to touch on is uh very first thing you should do when you when you hop into the game is buy yourself a new clone uh having extra clones is a good way to protect your chipset as i uh want to go into here um oh this is by the way these uh drop clones are actually an excellent source of of chips which is why we're doing that here while we're waiting on this uh, i'll just demonstrate the gun. So this is the modified gun that I have. Right? Now, here's how the gun fires normally. Actually, let's do... You can see that changing the fire modes does not reload the gun. Oh, 7, 3, 4, 1. So... And we've earned ourselves a stabilizer and actually an accelerator too. Lucky a, a, a tier 2 mod off doing that. So that's... Uh, luckily I was able to show you guys that all in um, kind of a compact bit of footage. Uh, but yeah, another edge you guys should consider uh, for PvP is if you, in case you missed the mining update is to uh, build some energy ammo. Actually, I'll just demonstrate that. This is the mining laser. You get that out when you get here too. Um, let's 
if we have enough. And the Z the Z button is your uh, where you go to to build ammo. Well, we'll just go and see what five one two eight. Luckily, these now these power mods that I'm earning right now are automatically sent to your hangar, so you don't have to worry about losing them. But if you get power mods from boxes and you want to keep them, uh, I would consider extracting uh, right away. So let's see if I can actually build. Uh, we don't have enough. Can't build a signal beacon quite yet. Um, but as soon as you have a chipset that you like, don't be shy. Okay, we've already got what we need to extract. Don't be shy about extracting right away. So it's Z for crafting. Equipment. That's that's where we went. And you hit F. Build your signal bacon. Hopefully nobody kills us while we're doing this. So go ahead and uh, extract as soon as you have some chips that, that you like or you want to experiment with. And it is important that I show you what this looks like after extraction. Because uh, your so if you extract all all your chips that are on your gun, you get those back. If you lose a if you die with like just like like lose a clone or two, you don't lose your chipset. However, if you die enough to lose all your clones, that is when you lose your chipset. Okay, just in case I didn't explain that well enough, that's the distinction. So once I click exit to hub, up here is going to be um, I'm going to have the option to transfer all of these. Um, I have a few too many, and I actually want these. So, by the way, so this, this in the hangar management, if you have, um, chips that you don't really like as much, see this one's got a bit of mixed stats. I have, I think I've got quite a few stabilizers. So I'm able to just kind of ditch a couple of my crappier stabilizers and, um, uh, take some better chips. And so every, and, um, yeah, so I've, I'm just leaving behind all my crappy chips that I don't want anymore. And then, uh, so if you end up with lots of crappy chips and you want to get rid of them, be aware of that when you are in the hangar management screen, there's no, there's no way to just delete, uh, chips with a right click right now. So that is the thing to keep track of because, uh, you play enough matches, you will eventually fill up on chips. I hope that was instructional for all of you guys. Uh, I hope you guys have fun going after the uh, EVE Online skins. And I hope you enjoy yourself in EVE Vanguard. And uh, you're also getting the definitive edge you need in PvP. That's everything from me. And until next time, I will see you starside.